One of the most common questions that we are asked is how can this lightweight sheet be labeled 80 pounds and this heavier cardstock also be listed as, as 80 pounds? Uh, the quick answer is that after each of the weights that are given, there's usually a grade of paper. So in this case, for the lighter sheet, the grade of the paper would be text. So it would be listed as 80 pound text, whereas for this one, it would be listed as 80 pound card stock. Um, I'm not quite sure who developed this uh, system, which I think is somewhat overly complicated, uh, but it happens to be the system that's used in the U.S. and uh, throughout North America. Um, it has a few different variables that it takes into account to determine the weight. Uh, the first thing is you, you find the grade of paper. There's different grades of paper. Uh, you can have text weight, like this lightweight sheet. There's cardstock. Uh, there's newsprint. There's bond, uh, indexed. I'm not quite sure exactly how many uh, different grades of paper there are, but there's, there's quite a few. And each of these grades of paper is also assigned a basis size. Um, and in, in this case of the text weight, it's assigned a 25 by 38 sheet. Um, and, and the card stock is assigned 20 by 26. So the, the uh, text weight is, is substantially larger than the, than the card stock. And the third variable happens to be uh, the ream. And, and a ream is 500 sheets. So the way that the weight is determined is that you would take 500 sheets of a particular grade, text weight, 20, 25 by 38, and you would weigh it. And if this weighs in at 80 pounds, which it does, uh, it's given the label of 80 pounds. And in this case, you would be, take 500 sheets of the 20 by 26 and weigh it. And in this case, it comes out to 80. So it's also considered 80 card stock. Fortunately, there's actually another uh, measuring system out there. It happens to be the European system, and it's based on the metric system, and I can go through that at some other time. Um, but that's basically uh, how we determine, uh, how we label um, card stocks and papers here in the U.S. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to, to send them over. We'll try our best to, to answer them. Thanks.